During the past week, GBN brought you the stories of two elderly individuals in the 80s coming under attack by young people. One was made to vent for his life, having found thieves on his farm. The other, a victim of multiple break-ins and rape. Another complained to GBN of being a victim of ridicule at a business establishment in St. George by a security officer stationed there. The recent spike in COVID cases has already claimed the lives of many elderly citizens. As according to Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell, at least 130 of the 180 COVID-related deaths recorded in Grenada are people described as elderly or senior citizens. As the month of October has been designated the month of the elderly, GBN wanted to hear and share their experiences and what they would like to see put in place for them. They don't provide nothing for us, such as good medical, or if you... Well, I don't even know what to say, because I get so confused with this COVID thing, because they're not addressing it right. The reason why they don't addressing it right is because I do believe the leaders of our country lying for us. Elderlies eat good food and stay up. Digital equity for all ages is the theme for the month-long observance. These individuals expressed concern about the older citizens not being techno-savvy, especially in accessing their finances and paying bills. For the old people, they shouldn't have to be lining up to go into supermarkets to go and pay bills or, go, or do nothing. They are elderly citizens. As soon as they come, first priority, right? The bank with this um, telecard and all these things, and they're putting pressure on our people to pay bills. That is too strenuous for them. I assign the myself of the ministries, like when they're paying bills for the eligible people especially for the eligible people. When they come to pay the bills, they're supposed to be paying one area. We're not supposed to go to one apartment and go to the next department again. This lady told GBN her encounter is with impatient drivers. A lot of drivers, um, particularly the bus drivers, they feel that, you know, as an elderly person, you shouldn't be on the road. You know, you're in their way and that sort of thing. They make such comments. But, you have a business to run, you have things to get on with, so you get on with it anyway, in spite of their comments. Another believes the answer is prayers, especially with the times being faced with. Better health care, good road, right? And we're living in the days of the last days. They're dying by the dozens. So this kind of system we're living in, we're living in the days. In our world. So what I think we need to do in this time, put God as we only saviour and trust in him, God is the answer right now, not man, because man is deceiving. So we had to pray and we had to pray a lot. I think the answer is pray right now. Christina John, GBN News.